does rewinding electric motor reduce its efficiency? Now there's a topic that's been debated for a long time and I'm sure you've got your own opinions. But in 2003, the AMT and ESA came together to carry out a joint study on the effects of rewind on motor efficiency. That study concluded that as long as certain steps were carried out, the motor's efficiency is not reduced. That was then when we had the old EFF2, EFF1 motors. Motors have got more modern now, they've got more efficient, so does the same study ring true and do the same processes need to be carried out? Well, last week, the results of the study concluded, the updated study that is, that the motor efficiency is still not reduced as long as vital steps are carried out. Now, from a repairer's point of view, I want to just go through and show you what we do and where the losses are on a motor. No motor is 100% efficient. So, in a motor, there are five areas where losses are created. The first one, and the one most simple to understand, is friction and windage losses. That's the uh, energy required to overcome the friction of the bearing and to spin the fan. When a repair is carried out, bearings are replaced, the fan remains the same, so we're not altering friction and windage losses. Next, there's the rotor losses. That is heat generated in the rotor cage. We're not altering the rotor, the same rotor's going back in. There's nothing being carried out to that, so we're not altering those losses. A third loss, the hysteresis loss, is a bit of a magical loss, really. It's to do with the uh, magnetising fields, alternating magnetising field, but we can't do anything about that, so that stays the same. So the big ones when it comes to repairing, it's the stator itself. Two losses in here, one of them are the copper losses. That's the heat generated in the copper through the resistance of the windings. We'll replace the windings exactly the same. So that's the rewind, we're rewinding the coils. So we're not altering copper losses. But to rewind the motor, we have to remove the windings and the insulation. That means we have to burn them off. And an old way of doing this was probably to set fire to it on gas rings. There, unfortunately, you've got an uncontrolled heat source and you can damage the laminations. The laminations in the motor, this is for a uh, linear motor, are sheets of electrical steel. Now these aren't bare, they have an insulated coating on them and there are multiple laminations in the motor itself. So when you set fire to this, this insulation layer gets damaged and that is where eddy current losses are increased. And really, this is the only area that electric motor rewinders can affect the efficiency. Now to mitigate that, you need to use a controlled burn-off source. There is a uh, controlled pyrolysis oven and the important thing about that, it's set to a maximum of 370 degrees C. That is the magic temperature where we're not altering the layer, the insulated layer coating on here. We're not degrading it. But to prove that, what we do, a core loss test is carried out. That's with the Lesesco core loss tester and that gives you a value of what's lost per kilogram in the stator itself. When the burn-off oven has been, uh, when the burn-off has been carried out, again, no more than 370 degrees C, the bare stator has another core loss test carried out. And that's the real important thing. Every rewind that you have should have a core loss test afterwards. And if the core loss is the same before and after the repair, this hasn't been degraded. So that we haven't introduced any further losses. So when the motor is rewind and rebuilt, it will maintain the same efficiency. That's quite a simplistic view, but that's where the losses come from in a motor and what repairers do. If you have any questions about this, please drop them in the comments and I'll try to answer them for you.